British College of Art and Design presents Blocking in the Skull Using a Live Model with me, Marjan Hormozy. This video focuses on blocking in the structure of the human skull using a live model. The skull is made up of the bones of the cranium, the facial bones, which consist of the zygomatic arch, the nasal bone, the anterior nasal spine, the maxilla, and the mandible, which is the only movable part of the skull. To begin, make a gesture of the overall movement of the model, then draw simplified shapes representing the basic forms of the figure. To establish the proportions of the skull, we measure from the chin to the anterior nasal spine and see how many times that measurement can fit into the height of the skull. Drop a vertical line next to the oval shape of the head and document these increments on that vertical line. Measure the width of the head of the model and compare it to the height. Now check the width and height of the head on our drawing and make the necessary adjustments. Now we have a simplified shape which represents the proportions of the skull. Blocking in means to build a geometric structure around an organic form which will represent that organic form based on height, width, and depth. In order to do this, we need to find the major corner which separates the frontal aspect of the skull from the side. This corner is what I call the zygomatic point. It defines the largest planar change from the front to the side of the skull. Now drop a vertical line from this point and build a geometrical structure around the simplified form of the skull. We will break each plane into two equal parts by crossing corner to corner and dropping a vertical in the center. Now transfer the increments from the line at the right of the skull to the corner line of the box. Now start adding elements of the head using the vertical lines in the center of each plane of the skull. This vertical will allow for an accurate placement of the elements such as the center of the chin, the nasal bones, and the conveyance of balance and equilibrium on both sides of the skull. The mandible, zygomatic arch, and the ear hole are located in the same region on the side plane of the skull along the center line. The mandible has three major angles and defines the lower part of the skull. Now we will angle side from the center of the chin to the ear hole and we will document that information on the paper.
In order to establish the angles of the mandible on the other side of the skull, we need to angle side from the ear hole to the zygomatic point and document this line on the drawing. Then we will draw an axis from one zygomatic point to the other. Now we have established the location of both zygomatic points. Now we will draw an axis from the corner of the mandible to find the corner on the other side. We will angle side from the zygomatic point to the corner of the mandible on the other side. Then we will angle side from the corner of the mandible to the corner of the chin. Now we have built the structure of the mandible. I will continue to build the rest of the skull in part two.